Hey, good morning, everybody. A couple things people have asked for. Uh, the ratio, SPX ratio. So the SPX ratio used to work. It doesn't work today. Uh, when it works again, we'll go back to it. If the SPX is up, uh, it was a 10 to 1 ratio with the Dow. So if the Dow's up 100, 10 to 1, SPX should be up 10. Okay? Very simple. Now, you guys need to learn how to do math like this. You do, you just do with, 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 with this because it, it aggravates when, when people can't do basic math. Okay? You have to, if you're going to trade, you have to be able to do basic math. If the SPX is up 50, I, if it's a 10 to 1 ratio and SPX is up 20, what should the Dow be up? 20 times 10, 200. If the SPX is up 6, the Dow should be up times 10, 60. I mean, this is, this is ridiculously simple. If, if the Dow is up 96, what should the SPX be up? You divide by 10, 9.6. You just move the decimal, a 9.6. Okay, same thing on the negative. If the SPX is down 100, I mean, I mean, if the Dow is down 100, SPX should be down 10. But that doesn't work right now, okay? So you don't need to do it. But I'm, you just got, I'm teaching you basic ratios, okay? So now, the way ratios work, and I do this, I do this with over 100 stocks every day, every second. My brain just moves, okay? Let's say back the other day when Amazon, the Dow was down 20 and Amazon was up 20. So you have a ratio. Then, then you look. And now the Dow is only down 10 and Amazon's up another 10. So it's telling you every 10 points the Dow moves or the SPX moves up, Amazon's moving up 10. So you're creating these ratios all over the place. You create them. You look at the SPX. If the SPX is up 2, and Apple's up one, you're saying, oh, if SPX goes up two more, does Apple go up one more? And then you looked. And then if it does, you're saying, oh, wow, I got an edge for today. These are edges. When you get your edges, and if it's working, it's telling you exactly how traders and algos are working. Okay, so know that. Create ratios in your head with anything you want. You can create ratios of Amazon to Google. Every 10 points, Google, Amazon goes up, Google's going up too. And you see if that holds. If it holds and Amazon goes up another 20, Google goes up another four. Wow, you're like, this is actually working today. These are just ratios. It doesn't cost you anything to do this. You're just doing numbers in your head, okay? That's how ratios work, okay? One of the things somebody's asking about here is uh, layers. So what are layers? We layers are positions that you buy ready to buy another layer. So we had Tesla last week. We had the Tesla 660s. We should have held them. I mean, we sold those at what, uh, 16. We took five points on them. And now they're at 35. We would have made another 20. But we bought the 700s before we sold them. And yesterday we bought the 730s in Tesla at $2. So now you have the Tesla 700s and you have the 730s. Now, yes, you can lose both positions, but we bought, but you really can't. Because if you're worried about losing both positions, you bought too many. But here's the thing. The first position was already up 2 and $3. So you can sell that first position to pay for the second position. So you could have sold the Tesla 700s at, say, 7 bucks. You bought them at 4 You make 3 bucks, And then you put 2 bucks of that 3 bucks into the 730s. So your 730s are free. Your 730s are free. Now, sometimes you hold them. So now you hold them. So now all of a sudden the 700s, they're going to be 10 But if it hits 700 today, and the CPI is good, they're going to be 18. You'll get 18 for the Teslas. And you have the second batch. But let me tell you numbers. If Tesla fails at 709, it will be 680 in 15 minutes. So if it gets near 709, and you're sitting on these, 
Somebody, somebody, there'll be one person that whines and cries and says, I didn't sell my 700 to be dropped 30 points. And does voices too. You can do voice. So know that. If it gets to 709, it's going to 772 in a grand slam. But it can fail at any number. NOW failed yesterday at 572. Snow failed at 272 to the penny. Sam's number, Sam's model, legendary. Nobody has it. And if I sell it, the Fidelity or whoever, when it finally works, it's going to be two or three billion dollar company. So know this, know this, know this. Okay, very, very simple. Okay, SPX. No idea what's going to happen. It's just sitting there, sitting there. Think about this. We're at 30, 4384. And ask yourself this. Go through your list tonight and see everybody you follow on Twitter. And ask yourself this. For every single one of those guys that said, we hit high of year. We're, 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 when we were at 4,200, I seen over 200 people. I mean, these are so-called smart people, and they're not because they're just so-called smart. They think they're smart. People that have 500,000 followers telling people we've hit high of year. Jesus, they're more wrong than Dennis Gartman. I mean, in a month, they said we're, we hit the high for the year, and in a month we're, we're, we're at new highs. How bad are these guys? But here's the thing. This is very interesting. And this comment, write it down. They're not, they wouldn't be bad, but they, they are so emotionally tied because of some position they have or something that they will say that the rest of their life. What does that mean? That means somebody, like that Northman guy, tells you every single day for 12 years, 12 years, every single day, look at what the government's doing. Look at how bad this is. The world's going to come to shit. And it keeps getting better and better and better. And he's wrong every single day. Doesn't matter what happens. He will say it again and again. So why follow any of these guys? They're going to give you the same comment. You, they don't even have to post. I can tell you what they're going to post every day. Inflation's through the roof. They're going to play. Inflation's through the roof and Powell's not doing nothing. World is screwed. Same thing they posted 15 years ago. Don't fall into that category of following 20 people that tell you wrong stuff every single day, and then you read it. Now, if you're Sam, you can read it. You know why? Because Sam's so cocky. Sam thinks everybody's an idiot. So, so I'm cocky, so I don't really care what they say. I get a laugh out of this guy so wrong and doesn't know what to do. Other people, and, and everybody's different. Maybe if Omid reads 200 people, and they all tell him, that Boeing is great, maybe he goes by his Boeing because they told him he's great. And they're all wrong. Are you influenced by people? I'm not influenced by anybody. Nobody can influence me. I'm too cocky. In this stuff, not in life. Just in this stuff. Because I'm better than everybody else. LRCX. 632, 641. We will probably dump these 630s at 15 and cover all of them. And then we see, and then we see. 653 accelerates it. NVIDIA, runner, runner, looks like 838 takes you to 852. Shopalicious, 2521. ISRG is, sure looks like it's going to 1021. I've been trying to buy it for three days, haven't been able to get it. Uh, Snowman, can it get through 272? Roku, 444 may spike this thing to 463 test. Twilio had a monster upgrade, didn't go, needs time. TTD, 
He's 81, 81, 81. NOW, 572, Amazon. 2762, Apple. 146, Facebook. 358, Google. 2572, 2603, Tesla. Tesla, Tesla. 692 is hard. 698 is harder. 700 is huge. And 709 beast. If it breaks 709, it can absolutely go nuts. Okay? Comments, questions. Beige book tomorrow, any concerns? I don't have concerns. I never have concerns about anything. Somebody asked me a question the other day on Twitter. And I got a response, and I was really surprised about the, the question and my response. Somebody says, Sam, are you worried about the CPI? I said, I'm only worried about Monday. This was on Sunday. I said, why are you only worried about Monday? Guys, think about that. Why am I worried? Why would I be worried about the beige book tomorrow? Why wouldn't you think about today? Why are you going to worry about tomorrow? Does that make any sense? Doesn't make any sense to me. Worry about what's going to happen today. Make your decisions for tomorrow, tomorrow. Make them before the close today. Why are you going to make a decision for I see people make this decision. Well, I'm going to sell lab research on Wednesday at 1.05 p.m. I looked at my timeline. I pulled up the horoscope and it said 1.05 p.m., is the, uh, the the time that land research hits the high on this date. You got, I, you know, who knows? Vision into the future. I don't know. Why would you make decisions or think about making decisions? Why are you worried about what he power is going to do in six months? I don't worry about it. I look to make my money and move forward. Everybody have a great train day. Let's see what happens in seven minutes. We'll post in the room. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Ahmed. Great job.